coming out tonight. So our first guest is the co-founder of Las Vegas' newest independent bookstore, The Writer's Block. Give it up for Drew Cohen. Yay! Hey, Drew. Hi. Hi. Thank you so much. Thanks for being here. Thank have a seat. Thank you. Well, welcome. We're excited to have you. I'm excited to be here. Thanks. So I've heard a lot of fun things about you. And the first one is that you're a very fast walker. I'm a very fast walker. I, uh, I'm from New York, which so I think it's part of my DNA. But then I'm also just deeply impatient. I just want to be, like, I want to blink and be where I'm supposed to be. So I, I tend to walk pretty fast. Mm -hmm. So I'm sorry. If you ever get stuck walking with me, I apologize in advance. Well, well it sounds like we won't be with you. We'll be in the dust. No, you You'll won't. Just, That's, I'm we'll apologizing leave you. for that. You won't see me. I will just be a blur. So, yeah. And then you also have this really cute bunny. We do. So at the bookshop, um, we have a pet bunny named the Baron. And he's, he's very sweet. He's kind of mysterious. We don't know his, his history. We know he was found outside of a bar. So it leads one Ooh. to speculate what kind of life he was leading. I don't know. He's cleaned up now sufficiently to be appropriate for the bookstore. And so we, we take good care of him. And he's a big boy. He's big. I never had a bunny until now. And I, I didn't realize they're like the size of a cat, at least. Yeah, he's like. They're, they're big. Yeah, yeah. So just watch out if you ever get a bunny. That's but you're also an artificial bird wrangler. We are. So at, at the store as well, we have, we have real animals like the rabbit, but then we have artificial birds. Um, and I actually brought one today oh, well, to show you. Let's meet her. Yeah, so, so she's a pheasant, and uh, her, her name is Cher, because that's a, it's a very natural name for a pheasant. She's got a lot of plumage. Um, so there she is. And you can actually oh, adopt so birds. I know she's gorgeous. Um, yeah, so there's, there's Cher. She's a name tag. So you can actually adopt birds at our store and take them home. And they all come with a unique bio card. So I brought Cher's. I can share a little bit about her yeah, story. Yeah, we'd love to hear about yeah, Cher. So Cher. Someone might want to adopt her. Of course, yeah, absolutely. So she's, a, she's athletic, fast, and healthy. And she eats a, a protein-rich diet of ants and flies and is actually working on a diet book to sell to birds all over the world, oh. which is pretty exciting for her. Um, and she loves being in first place and vegetables. She hates fast food and second place. She hates second <laughs> place, so not surprising. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. so if anyone wants to adopt Cher or any of the other birds, they are all at the writer's block. At the block. writer's block. So we're on Fremont Street between 10th and 11th. We're across from the bunkhouse and Caddy Corner to Atomic Liquor. So we're nearby some good stuff. Yeah. And you co-founded the writer's block. Tell us what the writer's block is. So we're actually Las Vegas' only new, so we sell new books, general interest bookstore. Um, so we, we specialize in fiction, art and design, and children's titles. That's our bread and butter. But we have a little bit of everything. And we also have artificial birds and stationery and fly traps and all kinds of weird stuff. Good gifts. So, yeah, yeah, it's a it's a fun setup you guys got going there. Thank you. Definitely Thanks. with bunnies and birds and then literature. We keep it try to keep it interesting. Yeah, so. it definitely yeah. is. And you yourself are um, very interested in 19th century style. Yeah, well, so I, I really love 19th century fiction. It's kind of how I got into books. I'm a little obsessed with them, Jane Austen and Charles Dickens and all those old fusty people. Um, and yeah, I kind of wish I was born in the 19th century. I think I would have liked that, except for the diseases and all that. But you know, yeah, otherwise I think I would have. So, yeah, yeah. OK, well, so where can people find online and on social media the um, Writer's Block? So our website is probably the best destination, the writersblock.org.org. Um, we have a mailing list there, um, information about our store, and all of our social media is just right there, um, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. So you can, you can find it all from the writersblock.org. All right. Well, thank you so much for being Thanks here for and, having and bringing Cher, especially. Yeah, yeah. Right. Thank, you. thank you. Hi, this is Bonnie with My Vagabond Soul. And we want to know, what is your dream and how are you chasing it? Follow us as we interview dreamers of all walks of life. Entrepreneurs, musicians, artists, and much more. Hear more about this interview with Craw and the Salvation Highway Band. Well, songwriting and playing music is my passion. I want to inspire others that come from struggle to chase their dreams and one day make it become a reality. 
for this interview with My Vagabond Soul co-founder and artist Kat Ford. I started writing children's books to encourage kids of all ages to chase their dreams. We believe in chasing our dreams and want to inspire you. So visit us at myvagabondsoul.com, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Because now that you know your dream, it's time to start chasing it. <laughs>